Companion planting is growing plants close together that benefit one or both of the plants. Now, if you go to search this on the internet, you're going to come up with charts and lists of planting this with this and don't plant this with this. And while there is some validity behind that, it's quite confusing and it can often be contradictory. So I'm going to tell you the theory or the why behind the companion plant so you can make the best decisions for your garden. The two main benefits of companion planting are to grow more food in the same amount of space, as well as to deal with your bugs, bad bugs and good bugs. This is a must for organic gardening. It's basically how we deal with our pests. A great example of growing more food in the same amount of space is what the Native Americans called the Three Sisters. You grow corn, beans, and squash in the same area. So the corn grows up, the beans grow up the corn, and then the squash goes along the ground, all in the same area. This way you get three crops out of the same space. Now, when it comes to dealing with bugs, companion planting helps in three different ways. One, it can repel bugs. It can mask the smell of certain plants so it confuses the insects and they don't come and eat the plant. It can also attract bugs, what we call a trap plant. So the bugs will go and eat that plant instead of eating your fruit and vegetables you're growing. Companion planting can also attract pollinators. Attracting these things to your garden is great because then they'll pollinate your fruit and vegetables as well. It also attracts predatory bugs. These are bugs that eat the other bad bugs we don't want eating our plants. There is debate about whether companion planting can make you have a bigger yield or a bigger crop. For me, it's kind of like, well, if you prevent a bug from eating your plant, you have a bigger crop. So it does help in that way. Basically, what we're trying to do is mimic nature. If you go and look in the forest, there are many different things of all shapes and sizes growing really close together. This is what's called biodiversity, and that's what we want to create in our garden. Modern day farming is a monoculture. It's one thing growing all together. So if it gets attacked by pests or diseases, it's going to wipe out everything. So by having a polyculture in our garden, it helps protect everything and then nature can work as it's intended. The basics of companion planting is knowing your plant's growing style. Does it grow big and tall? Does it grow on a vine? Is it growing short? Does it spread out along the ground? as well as are the roots deep or are the roots shallow. And the third thing is whether it likes a nice warm sunny spot or a cool darker spot. So then we can take the plants that grow tall and like the sun and put one that grows short and likes the shade beneath it. One that grows on the, along the ground, we can grow that up a trellis with things underneath that as well. We can interplant everything together knowing how they grow. Some good herbs for all around companion planting are basil, borage, chives, cilantro, thyme, tarragon, parsley, oregano, rosemary, and sage. And some good all-around flowers to use would be calendula, nasturtiums, sunflowers, chamomile, zinnias, lavender, and we can't forget marigolds. Marigolds are one of the best all-around flowers. If you're only going to plant one, marigolds around your garden really are helpful. So now you can take these ideas and plan your garden with what you're going to be growing this year. You can do fun things like last year I did a salsa garden. In one garden bed, I grew tomatoes, onions, cilantro, and jalapeno peppers. I had the garlic planted in the fall, so it was somewhere else. But you can go ahead and play around and have fun with these things. My best advice is just to grow your vegetables and then throw herbs and flowers all amongst them as best you can. Hopefully that helps simplify companion planting a little more for you and you're going to be able to this year plant a lot more in the same space than you ever thought. See you next time. Bye.